Hi, I'm Veronica. In this video, we're going to talk about the Stark ecosystem and more particularly about Starkware, StarkNet and StarkSwap. Let's start with Starkware. It offers Ethereum scaling solutions based on zero-knowledge validity proofs Stark. Currently, it offers two products, StarkNet and StarkX. StarkX is a decentralized validity rollup, however, it is permissioned. And StarkNet, on the other hand, a newer product, is decentralized permissionless zero-knowledge rollup or a validity proof system. Over five funding rounds, Starkware has already acquired over $173 million. And there were also rumors that were not confirmed nor busted that there are going to be another funding round for 100 million US dollars. And if those are to be confirmed, then the market cap of Starkware is going to be brought up to 6 billion US dollars. The project is four years old and from this time it has acquired quite a list of investors that we're gonna go through now. Very big team here. I'm not going to go too deep into that because it's gonna take a lot of time, but you can look up yourself if you want, of course. And in the very end, we have our investors list. And uh, it is quite a big one. As I said, we, have, we see names such as Sequoia, Coinbase Ventures, Intel Capital, Consensus Ventures, and um, there was something else. Ah, Polychain Capital, yes. And a cherry on the cake is Vitalik Buterin as an angel, which is, uh, Quite remarkable, I would say, because he does not invest into many projects. Now let's dig in deeper into StarkNet. I would first like to mention that it is just great that we have zero knowledge finally getting traction and becoming more usable for the wider audience with StarkNet, with uh, Alio, with ZK Sync. Since StarkNet is a scaling solution, it is basically a layer two network for Ethereum. It allows developers to build and scale dApps without compromising Ethereum's composability, usability, and security. On the 4th of April, StarkNet introduced the first version of the StarkNet bridge called Stargate Alpha. It is now live on the testnet and you can try it yourself. As of now, it is not incentivized. However, StarkNet seems to be keen on supporting the early participants of the project so you should look out for the possible rewards in the Discord. It doesn't take much time or effort to go through the testnet and I'm going to show you my experience right now. So here we are. You're gonna need two wallets for this testnet, Argent X and Metamask. If you don't have Argent X, you can just download the extension for your browser. I downloaded it for Chrome and created a wallet there. So here are just a few notes for the testnet from the developers. At the moment, you can only transfer Ethereum tokens to the StarkNet network. However, in the mainnet in the future, you're gonna be able to use other stable coins as well. There is no minimum amount that you have to transfer. The transactions are just going on as usual. In the MetaMask, you confirm them and pay a little bit of a gas fee and get it into processing. For me, it took around 5 to 10 minutes to complete that transaction and I'm going to speed it up right now. So here we have the completed transaction that you can see in the Etherscan of Voyager, which is the StarkNet version of that. And I want to show you the Voyager, which is a very nice feature. All that is said is that the transaction is accepted and not the wallet address of where it came from or where it's going to, which is finally giving you some privacy after all this time. And if you go into transactions, there the transaction hash and the send to hashed, these all wallets addresses are hashed and basically you cannot find the wallet if you search it up. After you have played around and found some mistakes or your likes and dislikes, you submit the feedback form. I personally wrote some suggestions for the changes in the layout to make it more intuitive. However, if you find that some errors, it might be more useful. In the StarkNet docs, you can see that already more than 50 apps are being built on it. And what's of interest for you here is that many of them are going through test tests right now. One of such apps is a Stark Swap. The idea of Stark Swap is quite self-explanatory from the name, yes, to swap tokens. And the project is very new, so even its docs are not yet fully updated, and the community is most active on Discord. I'm going to show the testnet of Stark Swap in this video. However, if you're interested in knowing more, you can check out the official docs by the link in the description. And here we are, we can actually use that token that we put via Starkgate onto the StarkNet network. And we can use that Ethereum to transfer it and basically swap it into an Ethereum compatible token such as USDC, that's what I'm showing here. You confirm the swap and the transactions are happening as usual, you just confirm them. I speeded up the transaction so you don't have to wait like I did. What you can also do in the faucet, you can get LAN and BAR tokens, a thousand each you can mint, but I put less and again you have to sign the transaction and wait. It is just a testnet so everything is happening a little slower than in the mainnet. And after the transactions are complete, you can also see them in the StarkNet Voyager. 
If you did not have LAN and BAR tokens appear in your Argent account in the wallet, you can add them manually via the addresses that they have in their official documentation. I'm going to leave the link to the guide where all the addresses are in the description box. After you add them manually or they appear automatically, you just have it all neatly there. You can also add your LAN tokens into the liquidity pool, there you just put the amount you want and deposit them. And they are also going to appear in your wallet as a um, tokens that you have in the LAN bar liquidity pool. After you have played around enough with the testnet and found your likes and dislikes, you can put your feedback into the Discord. Unfortunately, I didn't find a specific form to fill in. However, there is a Discord thread where you can put your feedback and also screenshots. As with the previous one, the testnet is not incentivized, at least yet. However, there are possible rewards in the future for the early participants. So you should look out in the Discord as well. As usual, don't forget to check the description for all the links and see you in the next one.